In this video we're gonna do Q set or selecting Q based on the attribute but before we start please subscribe to my channel as it motivates me to do more videos if you have any question please write to this email address so we're gonna do if you've got like one create and then we're gonna use disk which is a cumulative probability distribution discrete probability distribution to separate between two types of attributes so we have the create and then we need the assign Okay, so here we're gonna do attribute type disk. So it is 0 0.5, 50% is, is equal to 1, uh, or 40% is equal to 1, type equal to 1, another 30%, so we have to write 0 0.7, so it's cumulative. So we add the 4 to 0 0.7, 2, and the remaining is. Uh, okay. And you've got process. So see delay release. gonna use the advanced process because this is it, it highlights uh, the queuing parameters so we have here Tony and need set and set index to type and we need the delay and release delay and the release the dispose so I'm gonna link them okay. so delay we're gonna delay 30 minutes and okay and this is the dispose and the release of Tony and the create one every fifteen minutes. Okay. Uh, the only issues here is the only difference between now and the others. We cannot change the entity picture. If you want to change the entity picture, we do decide and then we say assign and then we feed them into the CS, which I'm gonna do it as part two in a few seconds. We still need to go to advanced process, uh, advanced set. So we have okay. Q1, Q2, Q3. Okay, and then by the doing the seizing, I need Q. This is this Q1. Q2. Okay. So if you run the program now, and you could see there is no queuing, I'm just gonna play with this value. So here, I'm gonna make it 15 minutes, and just run it again. So now we should be able to see queues here. If we do this at like every five minutes. And then we run it. Longer queue, but they're all the same type. So we're gonna split this into second. Just put that one here. Let's fit this into this side. And decide based on attribute type and way condition if entity. If attribute type is equal to one, and if attribute type equal to two, okay. So I'm gonna move this. 
this one a little bit to the right. I'm gonna get a design here and sign red balls. Assign picture simple as that. Blue balls, red balls. Okay, I'm gonna do a duplicate. I'm do a duplicate. So this one will be yellow balls. into the seas and side okay if I run the program find the program now we should be able to see we have three balls and then it will become the ball a little bit faster and then so you could see three different balls queuing at three different queues.